The perfect bracket in the NCAA tournament is impossible until now. It's me, UConn. I'm going to take you through every one of my picks for the NCAA tournament, including the Big 12 teams and how deep they will go. UConn over Stetson, easy FAU over Northwestern. We're going to go speed round. San Diego State over UAB and Auburn over Yale. Nothing crazy so far. We get our first Big 12 team with BYU and Duquesne. Many of you could not have pronounced Duquesne until this very weekend. BYU is a nine-point favorite. That line was from, I think, seven and a half. Now it's up to nine. They will kill Duquesne. Then Illinois will beat Moorhead State. In round of 32 action, will BYU beat Illinois? We'll get there in a second. Drake over Washington State's our first major upset of 10 over a 7. Iowa State over South Dakota State. Not even funny. It's going to happen. North Carolina over Howard or Wagner easily. Michigan State over Mississippi State, a 9 over an 8. If you want a perfect bracket, pick that. Grand Canyon, 12 over a 5. I like a lot of 12s this year, my friends. Hopefully you do too. Alabama and Charleston. I've seen Charleston as a popular pick. Alabama's going to win it. Win it. New Mexico, the 11 seed, will knock off six seed Clemson. Their net rating is better than Clemson's. They're a top 25 net team. New Mexico off to the round of 32. Baylor and Colgate. It's the toothpaste boys. Remember they played Arkansas a couple years back? Pretty popular upset pick. I don't have them this year. I got the Baylor Bears moving to the round of 32. Dayton and Nevada. Nevada, a scary pick out of the Mountain West. I still. In my bracket, I believe that Dayton's got a good shot to go a long way. Long Beach State. I've seen a lot of my buddies pick Long Beach State over Arizona. That's because they're not basketball experts. I am. Arizona knocks off Long Beach State. Speaking of long things, Houston and Longwood. The past three seasons, either a one or two seed has lost like to a team that has some kind of phallical... Um, a, a phallus within the name, like a St. Peter's or a Fairleigh Dickinson. Houston and Longwood. <clears throat> that trend ends this year. Houston beats Longwood. Oof, barely escaped them. AM over Nebraska. Nebraska still has never won a game in the NCAA tournament. Uh, James Madison, Wisconsin. I think this is my favorite 12 over a five. James Madison will beat Wisconsin. Take it all the way to the bank. Take it to FanDuel. Duke and Vermont. People like Vermont this year. Not I. I am a sicko. I like Duke. Texas Tech, NC State. Another Big 12 team wins. I might have an undefeated slate for Big 12 teams in round one. A lot of favorable seeds there. Kentucky and Oakland. I've seen a lot of my buddies pick Oakland over Kentucky. That's because they're not basketball experts. Kentucky wins it. Florida and either Boise State or Colorado. That to me is an easy pick. I'm going with anyone who's not Florida. Um, you know, by the time of recording this, who has won that play in game? I don't think either of them uh, will lose to Florida. Marquette and Western Kentucky. Marquette wins it. I have all of my one and two seeds winning in round one. Purdue obviously wins in round one because they're on that redemption arc. Utah State and TCU. I thought it's a favorable draw for TCU, though they do get Purdue in round two. I think the Horn Frogs beat Utah State in round one. Gonzaga and McNeese because everyone is picking McNeese State to go to the final. Final four, I do have Gonzaga winning in round one. We can't do that. The popular pick, the popular Cinderella is never a Cinderella. Kansas and Samford. This is the one that it sucks. I've told you all along this season, all the Kansas needs is a strong starting five. A strong starting five to win in March. They lost two of their best guys. Kevin McCullough's not 100%. Hunter Dickinson's not 100%. Samford's analytics are freaking good. I think Samford does win it. I hate it, too, because Kansas at full strength, that starting five is a final four pick in my book, but they're too banged up and Samford coming for blood. Kansas might be the only Big 12 team that loses in round one. Oregon, South Carolina. I still like South Carolina, though the country likes Oregon. Akron and Creighton. Creighton might be an elite eight team. Texas and either Virginia or Colorado State. I've got Colorado State getting past Texas in round one. Another Big 12 team. Big 12 team. That's what we're going to call them going down. And then Tennessee and St. Peter's. Oh, we know that those cocks are, they're tough. But I think Tennessee, I, I don't usually trust Rick Barnes in March, but I will here. We'll take you to the round of 32, where some a lot of Big 12 teams are still floating around. UConn knocks off Florida Atlantic. San Diego State and Auburn. I like Auburn a lot this season. They're in that trapezoid of excellence, if you've seen that. Auburn advances past San Diego State. It's chalk, the one and the four here in the East. BYU and Illinois, this is a double-digit win for the BYU Cougars in round two. If you want a perfect bracket, take BYU to your Sweet 16. Don't blink. Don't think. BYU to the Sweet 16. I like Drake a lot this year. It feels like they're playing with a little bit more house money. They're usually kind of that favorite out of the, was the Mountain Mid-Missouri Valley Conference. Um, they beat Indiana State, which was shocking. 
I think I wish the run didn't end here, but Iowa State wins it. BYU and Iowa State meet in the Sweet 16. Michigan State and North Carolina. I think North Car- Michigan State's way overrated. Did they deserve to be in March Madness? No. Them and Virginia both, I felt like, should have been left out for other members of, of the field. Uh, North Carolina beats Michigan State here probably by 10. Grand Canyon and Alabama. While I do like, I do like Bryce Drew a lot. I've had him on the show a couple of times. Alabama is still the better. I don't think Grand Canyon's there yet to be the Cinderella yet. They lost in round one, I guess it was a couple of years ago when Baylor was in the tournament and they got to all hang out together at the same location. They're going to lose to Alabama here. Bama makes it the sweet 16. New Mexico and Baylor. We've got a first major upset from a big 12 team knocked off. Baylor has lost two years consecutively in the round of 32, and they do it again here against a New Mexico team that is grossly underseeded at 11. Baylor lost to an underseeded team in Creighton last year and underseeded North Carolina the year prior. They lose to an underseeded team again. New Mexico topples Baylor. Dayton and Arizona. I just can't believe I can't buy Arizona in March, and I think Dayton is a dangerous team. There has to be some chaos somewhere. Dayton over Arizona. Houston slams Texas A&M, a rematch of a tight game. Houston gets the better of them. James Madison and Duke. I still like the Dukes of James Madison over Duke as another one of those double-digit seeds that makes a run here. Texas Tech, Pop Isaacs and company will beat Kentucky. Kentucky does not line up well in the metrics. They play too fast in the in the trapezoid of excellence. Kentucky is a second round bounce. Why would we trust Cal? He's been pretty bad the last couple of years. Give me Marquette winning in round two as well. If you want a perfect bracket, take Marquette to the Sweet 16. Purdue and TCU, a classic example of TCU playing a team they're overmatched by and getting so close, but losing on like a half court buzzer beater. Purdue beats TCU. TCU covers Gonzaga and Samford. I think Gonzaga is a Sweet 16 team again this year. It feels like when they are the underdogs, they will win. Everyone's betting against them. So I think they're going to win. Take them over Samford, South Carolina and Creighton. Give me the Blue Jays. They're a very good basketball team this year. And I am taking Colorado State over, over. That's right. I'm taking Colorado State in my Sweet 16. Um, as we get into the Sweet 16, they beat Tennessee. Rick Barnes, mm, I don't trust Rick Barnes in March. Bet against him. As we get into the Sweet 16, let's tell you about one of our valued sponsors here at Locked On. That valued sponsor is Amazon Fire TV. Amazon Fire TV is where I go to watch these games. If I want to watch today, March Madness, Amazon Fire TV is what I've got pulled up. They're your destination for sports from live games to highlights to in-depth analysis. Fire TV offers amazing viewing experiences with smart TVs, as well as the Fire Stick that you can use to watch March Madness. Opening weekend for baseball or the tournament right now, Fire TV is the place to go. Right now, all of us at Locked On are on Fire TV channels for free. That's right. Not to mention great news, entertainment, gaming, travel, cooking videos as well. Fire TV channels on Fire TV and Alexa devices. If you haven't checked out Fire TV channels, you should. Trust me. Amazon.com forward slash locked on Fire TV. Go to Amazon.com forward slash locked on Fire TV. All right. We're taking you to the Sweet 16. We've still got some Big 12 teams that are floating around in here. UConn and Auburn. Our first one seed to go down. UConn falls to the Auburn Tigers. BYU and Iowa State. Seen this song and dance. BYU probably could have won that game, should have won that game. Some Hilton magic for Iowa State the last time these two teams met. But Iowa State is unbelievably good at the sport of basketball. The analytics love them. Everybody loves them. It is shocking and awesome and crazy and good that BYU gets to the Sweet 16 this year. But that is where the run ends. Taman Lipsy, Iowa State, they get the win over BYU. Iowa State is able to control the pace. They were able to keep BYU on a neutral court. BYU's ability to shoot the three will be hampered. On a neutral court, it will be hampered. And they're a team that did not go on the road and beat Iowa State because at the very end, the gumption, the Hilton magic, you could argue the officials favored Iowa State. And I think it's going to favor them in a neutral site too because they are the better team. Who's the better team between BYU and Iowa State? It is Iowa State. BYU should have been a four seed. This matchup should not have happened. I've got Iowa State beating BYU. North Carolina, Alabama. I love North Carolina to go deep this year. New Mexico and Dayton. I like New Mexico to go to the Elite Eight. Houston, James Madison. Houston is not going to trip. I think they win every game to this point by double digits. They beat James Madison by 12 to 15 points. If you want a perfect bracket, take Houston to your Elite Eight. Texas Tech and Marquette. I think Grant McCaslin does... What Jerome Tang did in year one at Kansas State, I think McCaslin does that in year one at Texas Tech. Jervis Campbell is his favorite musical artist. Texas Tech over Marquette. 
Shaka Smart and beating Big 12 teams is something he's allergic to. Tech to the Elite Eight. Purdue and Gonzaga, this is the Purdue redemption year. Every time a team loses in the first round to a 16 seed the next year they win a national championship, then Creighton is finally the team to topple Colorado State. Our Elite Eight, Auburn, Iowa State, North Carolina, New Mexico, Houston, Texas Tech, Purdue, and Creighton. If you're keeping score at home, that is three Big 12 teams. And the run ends here for Auburn. Iowa State to the Final Four in my bracket. I feel very confident in that pick. The defense is so good. They can't win a national championship because we know that they're outside of that when it comes to the analytic statistic things that says like, oh, the team can't win uh, its conference tournament and still win a national championship. But I can take you to the Final Four. North Carolina, New Mexico. We gas this matchup up. It's like one of those Sunday games afternoon and North Carolina falls. In the last 10 years, nine tournaments have seen a seated a team seated nine or lower in the final four. We got a double digit seed there. New Mexico, New Mexico to the final four. Wild. Houston, Texas Tech. Houston wins another game by double digits. This feels like one of that, like the Baylor year or that Villanova year where the team was just mowing through everybody. Houston does it to Texas Tech. But what a year for Grant McCaslin and company falling short of the final four, just like Jerome Tang did, but at least making it close on the cusp. Then Purdue and Creighton. I told you. When you see a story arc in college basketball in March, you should probably pay very close attention to it. That story arc is Purdue. It is Purdue coming back from losing as a one seed and having a hell of a run. Purdue to the final four over Creighton. Our final four, Iowa State and New Mexico, Houston and Purdue. And you might think I'm a sicko for doing it, but here it is. I have an all Big 12 national championship game. You can say that I'm a homer. You can. That's fine. You can say that I'm a homer here. I do think Auburn's got a good shot. They're my kind of my backup pick here if they beat Iowa State. But this is a one and a two seed. Two of the best teams in the country. Analytically, two of the best teams in the country. The two best defenses in the country. And I value defense in March. Two of the best starting fives. I need you. If you're starting five plays 38 minutes a piece, that's, that's it. That's fine. I just need you to win a couple of games in a weekend. And I think these are the two teams that can do it. Iowa state and Houston meet in the national championship in a rematch of the big 12 championship. That's your storyline. And the Houston Cougars, Kelvin Sampson analytics point to, to me, four teams, four teams that have a real shot. Auburn, UNC, Purdue, and Houston. Those are the four teams that, based on historical analytics, have the best chance to win a national championship. Based on Ken Palm and scheduling and where you ranked here during this week. And do you have, like, you know, on a Sunday, if you have a big man who's seven foot four, who has seven rebounds at any point in this season, you'll win a national championship. All those things point to those four schools. Houston is your national champion. If you want money, if you like money, bet on Houston now to win the national championship, to go to the final four and win March Madness. I think this is finally it. LJ Cryer gets his second and the Houston Cougars win it all. How many total points? 127, a low scoring, gross, awful game. That's it. That is my bracket. How fun is that, guys? Did you have a lot of fun? That's the perfect bracket right there. Yay, Houston, national championship, big 12. Butte. Uh, this has been it always will be. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. It's going to be a wild day today. Let's watch some hoops. I'm on a cruise right now, by the way. That's how this is recorded with like Colorado State and Virginia not being played yet. But Colorado State, they won that game, right? They had to have. Locked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. No say grande.